Munini wa Rais Rugadi Gashagua na Rudi Teye Karogia Kubesha na Mataro kire aministwa mameru ni barea ama adi tekurutawira na umana weru. Amere temedhiru ya makeri unga mono kurea uira okurutirwa na kutigira mauntu ni makudhibu kubaterie kutina kuendera kana nkinyagia kudongira kire ungumania ni kenda kubingia mawira ne makenya kwanza. Anthony Kadenya Ataridi. I want to encourage you as you settle down in your respective ministries, make it your business to go to the field and inspect the work that your officials are doing or whatever is being done in your ministry. And where you need a slightly higher profile, I'm available to come and back you up. And where you need even a higher profile, the president is available to come and do it. I keep on saying that let us apply let us use the hen mentality in this administration. The hen lays a very small egg and immediately after laying it gets on top of a house and makes noise for the next four hours for everybody to know that an egg has been laid. The cow produces 40 liters of milk and is just quiet. That milk disappears because nobody even knows there is milk in the compound. But the one egg, everybody knows about it. Whatever little you do in your ministry, to be here, Debe, let us not assume before no. I am informed that you have engaged in cardi discussions and some self-assessment and reflection. From yesterday's meeting with H.E., the president, to the various presentations delivered yesterday and today, you have been taken through the expectations of your roles, the macroeconomic context in which we find ourselves, and the corruption pitfalls that you must avoid to guard against what the EACC describes as a cause for sleepless nights. I also note the guidance provided on the national security posture in which we must operate, the contours of safeguarding our national interests, the machinery of states, the mechanics of parliamentary engagement and the tenets of effective communication and branding. Of greatest importance is the need to work cohesively in a whole of government approach. Colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, Kenyans express themselves loudly and clearly. They want a government that is responsive, accountable and transparent. They want leaders, not rulers, servants, not masters and they expect humility and sacrifice. The youth in particular are the game changer. Our country, though 63 years old, has a median age of about 19.8 years. This youthfulness presents immense opportunities to harness their energy, passion, and creativity, but it also comes with heightened pressures and greater expectations. Loyalty to the head of state and government is non-negotiable, you are now soldiers in the army that has only one general. You are now also bound by the collective principle of collective responsibility, and no matter your personal views on a matter, once it is directed by the president or resolved by cabinet, your duty is to jealously, fiercely, and firmly defend it. I'm sorry you no longer have personal views or observations. Your words are policy pronouncements. Ensure that they carry the same weight, consideration, and gravitas as your cabinet memoranda or official communication.